Hello, so this is for lab 2.1. Uh, first I'm going to start with the Zen map. Um, so I ran a, I guess a end map scan from Zen map uh, on my router, uh, which found one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I think, nine different um, I guess, uh, active IPs, we'll call it. Um, so, I also have, uh, solar winds on my, running on my, uh, Windows environment. Uh, I couldn't get it to run on my virtual machine, which was odd. But I was able to get it to run on my uh, desktop computer, which is actually this one right here. Um, so the layout is kind of similar, uh, as you can see right there. Um, but it seems like. Solar map doesn't detect as much. Um, it could be because I did an intense scan, uh, or it's just not as good. At least in my opinion, it doesn't seem as user friendly. Um, maybe it becomes maybe there's a you know a little bit of a learning curve before I really start to get used to it. But for now, I kind of prefer Zen map and how its uh, topology um, maps are laid out and it seems to give way more details based on the end map scan I'm not really sure what type of scan um, solar winds use it doesn't seem really like an end map scan it's it just doesn't seem as detailed um, for example I mean I can click on this and I go to ports and hosts and see host details um, not really sh oh this is just my router um, you can see that it's a sagecom fast 434 or 4350 um, router and you see that there's a couple open ports I'm not actually sh oh yeah um, and you can find OS classes um, you can see that this one right here is a phone type Linux uh, I'm gonna assume it's not really Linux. It's my my Mac, my iPhone. Um, you can also see here iHome Smart Plug. I'm not really sure what that is. I'll have to find it. Um, specialized iHome Embedded. Hmm. So. I'm not really sure what that is, to be honest. I'm not sure what some of these are. I mean, I, I know that it found... One of them found that I was using a Google um, host for a, uh, a Google device, uh, the Google Home. Um, but I just like how it has everything kind of labeled. Um, you can see the, the legend right here. Um, you can see that, you know, there was uh, some hosts, the majority of hosts have less than three ports open and this one one nine two one six eight um 
one, two, eight has more than five. Let's see, or well, I guess about five. It's running Linux. OS. I wonder. No, that one's not my Kelly. I'm not sure what this one is, to be honest. Um, so it seems like maybe ZenMap doesn't do a great job with Apple products. I mean, it might find it just as, oh, this one is my, uh, not sure what that means, but my Amazon device. Um, and this one's my router, obviously. And this one's Kelly. So it doesn't seem to do a great job with Linux hosts. Um, but I mean, Linux is, I mean, uh, doesn't do a great job with, ca uh, Apple host. I mean, Apple is basically built off of Linux. Um, so it does a decent amount. Uh, so, yeah, this is basically the view. I mean, as you can see, um, SolarWinds is similar, I just don't really care for it that much. Uh, so I'm going to be looking at my other screen. Uh, so it looks like uh, it offers a few functions, I mean obviously it has a scan, it, uh, it offers a remote desktop, which is interesting. A trace route ping and telnet and you know Zenmap has or well and and map has tons of scans so there's basically you know there's a ping scan which is kind of the same thing um, not sure which telnet would kind of fall under but I know that some of the scans you can have tracer outs ran. Um, but overall, to be honest, I prefer ZenMap to SolarWind. Uh, so I've been uh, rambling on, so I'm going to end the video here. Uh, thank you.